This video will show you how to model eyeglasses in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. In the description of this video, I've already put a link for you to download the reference images I'm using for this tutorial in case you don't have any. When you open Blender, first click on this X to go to a side view. Press Shift A and go to Image, then select Reference Image. Browse for your reference image of the front face then click on Open to open it. Click here to go to its data properties. Activate opacity and reduce on its value to reduce the intensity of the image. Press G then X to move it away from the cube along the X axis. Now click on this Y to go to another side view. Press Shift A again and go to Image then select Reference Image. Browse for your reference image of the side face then click on Open to open it. Activate opacity and reduce on its value to reduce the intensity of this image as well. Here under Show In, deactivate perspective. Select this other image and deactivate its perspective as well. Now select this cube and click on this X to go to the front view then press Tab to go to the edit mode. Right click and go to merge vertices then select its center. Press G then Z to move it up to this point. Press E to extrude it up to this point. Select both of them then press E to extrude them up to here. Go to the modifier properties and add a mirror modifier. Under Axis activate the Y and deactivate the X. Click here to activate clipping as well. Now select these two vertices and move them here. Click on this icon to activate X-ray visibility. Now select this vertex and press G making sure it aligns well with this edge. Do the same for these other vertices making sure they align well with the glasses. Select these two and press E to extrude them up to somewhere here. Press Ctrl R and add an edge loop here. Select them two and press G to move them aligning them well to these edges. Select these two vertices and press E to extrude them here. Select them and press G to align them well to these edges. Select these two vertices then press E to extrude them and later press G to move them aligning them to the edge of the eyeglasses in the image. Repeat the process until you fill the shape to this level. Come up here and select these vertices then press E to extrude them up to somewhere here. Press Ctrl or then scroll then click to add some edge loops in the middle. Select them one by one then press G to align them to the edges of the glass. Now select these two vertices and press E to extrude them to this end. Select this one and press G to align it to this corner. Press Ctrl or then click to add an edge loop here. Select this vertex and press G to align it to the edge here. Now select these four vertices and press F to fill them. You can add some intermediate edge loops by pressing Ctrl R in order to make the geometry finer. Click on this C then click on this icon to activate proportional editing. Select these vertices and press G then X to move them forward along the X but before you click to assign the operation, scroll up to reduce the area of influence for proportional editing just to bring out the shape of the nose bridge. Select these vertices too then press G then X to move them forward a little along the X. Press A to select all then click on this C and press E to extrude it a little. Click on this Y to go to a side view then press G then X to move it along the X. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Go to the modifier properties and add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the viewport levels to 2. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Press 3 to switch to face selection then select this face. Click on this Y to go to a side view then press E to extrude it up to somewhere here. Now press Shift D then right click to duplicate it but remain in place. Press E to extrude it up to somewhere here. Press Tab to go to the object mode. Select this reference image and press R, then Z, then 180 to flip it. Press G to move it somewhere here. Press S to scale it down making sure it's almost fitting the size of the existing model. Now select the model then press Tab to go back to the edit mode. 
Press R to rotate it up to this angle. Press E to extrude them up to this level. Click on this icon to switch to wireframe mode. Select these edges and press S to scale them down a little. Now switch it back to solid view. Press Ctrl R to add an edge loop then slide it up to this level. Press Ctrl R again to add an edge loop then slide it up to this level. Press Ctrl R again to add an edge loop then slide it here. First click to make sure all is deselect then press Shift Alt and click on these edges to select them. Press Shift E then 0.5 to add a crease to them. Press Shift Alt and click on these edges to select them as well. Press Shift E then 0.25 to add a crease to them also. Now press Tab to go to the object mode. Come to the modifier properties and increase the subdivision view levels to 3. Press Shift A and add a cube. Press Tab to go to the edit mode. Click on this Y to go to a side view and press S then X to scale it down along the X. Select this face and click on this X to go to a side view then press S to scale it down. Press A to select all then G to move them somewhere there. Come to the modifier properties and add a subdivision surface modifier. Select this face and press delete then click on faces to delete the face. Select these vertices and press G to precisely move them to the corners of the glass frame. Select these middle ones then click on this Y to go to a side view and press G to move them in a bit. Click on this X to go to another side view then press S to scale them down. Go to modifier properties and increase the viewport levels to 2. Press Ctrl R and click to add an edge loop in the middle here. Switch to the wireframe view then move these corners to precisely fit along the edges by pressing G. Now switch back to solid view. Press Tab to go back to the object mode. Go to modifier properties and click here then apply the modifier. Now add a mirror modifier. Under axis activate the Y and deactivate the X. Click here then apply the modifier. Select this frame and apply its modifier as well. Select these lens and go to object, then shade them auto smooth. Select these frames as well and go to object, then shade them auto smooth. And now we're done. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.